Could this finally be the sign that the real estate market is slowing down, giving buyers who have been searching for months now the opportunity to finally get their dream home? As you may know, the possibility of purchasing the perfect home seems like it is only possible in the multiverse due to the seemingly limitless amount of buyers in a market that has very limited homes for sale. For the first time in history, home buyers have been engaging in an almost auction-like form of purchasing real property as bidding wars have been recorded at an all-time high. Fewer people are starting online home searches and applying for mortgages than this time last year, and year-to-date growth in home tours remain far below 2021 levels. An increasing share of sellers are also reducing their prices after putting their home on the market. are searching for homes online and fewer people are attending open houses. This could be because of higher mortgage rates. With such a leap in interest rates, some would-be borrowers who met the lender's strict debt-to-income ratios have lost their loan eligibility. By the same token, some would-be buyers lost their amount of purchase power. For example, if I qualified for a $650,000 loan at 3.89% interest rates and then the interest rates rise to up to 4.67%, my purchase power overall would be affected. Others just rather not pay the higher mortgage payment per month as rates do shoot up. Keep in mind, this is at the fastest pace in history. In addition to mortgage related factors, others may not be attending open houses for fears of getting sick. This could realistically be the case for a portion of reduced interest in buying overall. Now you may be thinking, Rodrigo, those are all very real possibilities, but why the price cuts? Very simple, due to the large amount of buyers, selling agents typically advise a lower listing price in order to captivate a larger amount of prospects and get them in the door. It is highly theorized that such low levels directly impact the entire market as a whole given that the fewer homes on sale make a de facto bidding war simply because less homes lead to greater demand which cause people to overpay. Realistically, once more homes hit the market at a larger scale, we should see a shift for a buyer's market giving the average buyer a greater chance in getting their offer accepted. Thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate you guys if you guys stayed all the way to the end from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys. And cut to the end screen.